Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example we're going to demonstrate how to create a web form. So you can see here that we have our actual input elements all directly from Adobe XD using Export Kit. And we're going to go even further and also do custom input elements such as a checkbox, a radio button, and a hidden element. So let's go ahead and let's begin to take a look. We can just delete our previous exports because we're going to redo this so we don't need the previous ones. And let's just go back to XD. Now you'll see here that we have our form example and our input example, and we're going to take a look at both. Now within our form itself, uh, what we have, and if you're familiar with Export Kit at all, you'll note that we do recommend that you create a layout, and this is just for visual purposes. So we're going to take a look at both uh, our skip container with our layout and our form container itself. Now our form itself, you'll see here that what it has is our form tag. It has a type, which is post, or you could use get, and it has an action, which currently right here it has email form.php. Now in essence, this could be any web request that you have that can uh, handle the form request that you're delivering. So we also have input elements within our content, so let's take a look at them. We have our name here, and this is just a text area itself. And we have an input tag with an actual text type. We have another input tag with an email type, input tag with a text area, and an input tag with a submit. Now these are the basic essence to create any general web form, but we do also support a couple more advanced more input tags. So let's take a look at each container here to understand why our design is like this. Now if we hide the actual form elements that we have, what you'll see here is we have basically the design itself uh, which will denote how we want our form to look. But again, this is just for visual purposes, so we can just hide this. The actual content, and because it's for visual purposes, uh, sorry, let me just re-enable this. We have a skip tag here because it's not required in the actual output. The content that we do require in the output looks like this, which is basically just text areas. This is what will generate your input area uh, elements which are required in your HTML output. So we can just unhide just to see all the content. Again, this is just visual, but you'll note here that we do have our input elements for each uh, text area that we want to control within our HTML output. Now this works in all outputs, so in essence it's not simply just HTML, we could have been using JavaScript, jQuery, Android, uh, but I'll deal with these in another video. So let's go ahead, let's just export our HTML. We know exactly where we're saving it, which is this folder. Let's go back and open our browser. And we take a look here, you'll see that we have our full input elements, and let's just inspect to ensure. So you'll note we have our input, we have our text area, we have our submit button. And these are all created directly from XD. So let's go and let's take a look at the other example file so we can see a few more complex uh, input elements. So you'll see here in our input example, ironically, what we have here is a hidden element and you'll note this by input type hidden. We have a checkbox element with checkbox You'll see here that we have a label beside it, and this will render in the output. This is just uh, visually for the output itself. Your actual checkbox element is only this small text, and you'll note this here. And what we have as well is a ID that it has to be assigned. What this will do is allow you to have unique elements to check and also use as a radio. So our radio is very similar to our checkbox. You'll see it just has input type radio. It has an ID of R. This could be any... Uh, random ID that you're using and we also have a label here beside it to denote in the output so let's go ahead and let's just export this again once again we know where this is being saved so let's open up our browser and you'll see here that we have each of our input elements as we've denoted within our XD file. So this goes to show the power that you can have now in not just creating the design uh, with an XD, but you can actually now output a functional website. So we're gonna take a look in a few other videos as to how we can do uh, further things such as adding complex input elements. Uh, this can be a drop down, and also styling input elements using our CSS style classes.